So in this video, we are going to be discussing the concept of time, distance, and average speed. Now, this is one of the questions you are going to be expecting in your KCPE exam this year. So we want to teach this topic and show you how to solve some questions in this topic. Now, the first thing I want you to understand is the concept of speed. Yes, speed is actually defined as the distance covered divided by the time. So in order to get your speed, so one of the things you'll be doing is from light speed, it's given at distance over time. So um, your distance can be given in different units. It could be in meters, it could be in kilometers, while your time could also be in seconds or it could be in hours. Now, um, now if speed is equal to distance over time, that means if we're using kilometer over hour, therefore the unit for speed is going to be kilometer per hour. So this is the unit for speed. Okay, so um, same thing applies to distance. Um, but this time around, distance is going to be, um, distance will now be speed times time. So you multiply speed by time and the unit for distance, distance is always measured in what? In kilometers. So um, you see a car, um, you said the car must have traveled a distance of 10 kilometers. Now, time, it's given as what? Time is given at distance, okay, over speed. So now, time is always in hours or in seconds. Okay, so one concept you can use to um, understand the distance, speed, and time, it's the distance, speed, and time triangle. Now, from this triangle, you can see our speed is given as a distance divided by time. Our distance is given as speed times time, and our time it's given at um, distance over speed. So once you can remember this triangle, your DST triangle, then you can remember the formula for distance, speed, and time. My best way of um, telling students to recall this is to use the um, TV commercial DSTV. So all you just need to know that once you can remember DSTV, you draw your triangle. So the first three words are the ones that will come in. So, um, so my D comes in, my S, and then my T. Then the V goes away. So the V is just to help me recall it. So once I have my DST, then I can remember the formula for distance, speed, and time. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is how to convert kilometer. How to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. Several questions you're going to be meeting might require you to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. If you don't understand it, then you're going to miss out on the question. Let's take for instance, let's convert 72 kilometer per hour to meter per second. Now, what's the first thing you need to know when trying to convert something like this? Now, you need to understand that 72 kilometer per hour actually means 72 kilometers all divided by what one hour now when you do 72 divided by one what are you going to get you will get back 72 kilometer per hour now how do you convert kilometers to meters you do what you multiply by 1000 how do you convert hours to seconds therefore to get the number of seconds that make one hour you multiply 60 by 60 therefore 3,600 seconds make what? One hour. So in order to convert this, now for me to convert kilometer to um, meters, I'll multiply up by what? 1,000. Now, for me to convert one hour to seconds, I'll multiply by 60, then by 60. Okay? So all I need to do is reduce this to the lowest fraction and I'll get my answer in meter per second. So anytime you're converting from kilometer per hour to meter per second, multiply the numerator by 1000, multiply the denominator by 3600, which is 60 times 60. Okay, so here we go. Um, zero, double zero, we'll cancel out double zero. So um, I think we have here, we have 72 times 10 all over. Six times six is going to give us what? That's 36. 
So 36 here is 1, and 36 is 72 is going to give us what? 2. So this is going to be 20. Now we are converting to what? Meter per second. So this is exactly how you convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve some questions in time, distance, and speed. Let's see some kind of questions we are going to be expecting in the KCPE 2020 exams. Okay, so this question says a car traveled at an average speed of 108 km per hour. What was its speed in meters per second? Okay, virtually a question we just solved above is the same thing with this. So now we have um, 108 km over 1 hour. Now we're going to convert it to meter per second. So multiply up by 1000, multiply it down by what? 60 times 60. Now do the same thing. Zero cancel out one zero. This cancel out um this zero. So I have here 108 times 10 all over 6 times 6. Now um okay, so from here, um what can divide? Two can divide, so um Okay, 6 can go. 6 here is going to be 1. 6 in 108, we are going to get, um, this is 1, remember 4. 6 in 48 is going to be um, 8. So 6 can also go. 6 here is going to be 1. 6 in 18 is going to be, um, that's 3. So we are going to have, um, that will be 3 times 10. That will be 30 meter per second. So that's our final answer here. So as easy as that, then um, let's solve another question. Okay, this question says, um, Mutoni left good at 7 a.m. for the market. A, a distance of 7.2 kilometers. She reached the market at 8.20 a.m. What was her average speed in meter per second? Now, if you look at this question, it wants us to actually calculate what the average speed. But notice that... The distance was given in what? Kilometers. So you have to be very careful. Very, very careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate our answer in um, kilometer per hour. Then finally, we we'll convert the final answer to what? Meter per second. Okay. So um, distance covered. Okay. The question says we should look for the average speed. Remember, our average speed, our formula for speed is given as what? Distance over time okay so once we establish this fact now our distance it's given at um that's going to be um 7.2 kilometers now time what's between what she left at 7 a.m and she reached the market at 8 20 a.m so someone who left at 7 a.m and arrived at 8 20 a.m must have covered a total of 1 hour 20 minutes. So total time is going to be 1 hour 20 minutes. So let's convert this to fraction. Now this is going to be 1. That will be 20 over 60. 1 whole number 20 over 60. So the 0 will cancel 0. And this will be um, this will be equivalent to 1 whole number 1 over 3. Um, R. So changing this to an improper fraction, this is going to be 3 times 1, 3 plus 1. This is going to be 4 over 3 R. Okay? So now we've established this fact. The next thing we're going to do is to calculate the average speed. So the average speed is going to be, now this is going to be, uh, okay, our distance is actually given uh, in 7.2 kilometers. So let's convert 7.2 7.2 kilometers to fraction this is going to be um, 7.2 or 72 divided by 10 okay so all you need to do is shift out one decimal place and apply zero on that so let's change this to fraction so this is going to be um what can divide two can divide so two in ten this is going to give us um 36 over um, 5. So at this point, we can say this will be 7 whole number 
1 over 5 kilometer. Okay? So now we have that. Now, we can now calculate our average speed. So our speed, it's now going to be distance over time, which is going to be uh, 7, 1 over 5 divided by 4 over 3. So we have our distance to be 7, 1 over 5 kilometer and our time to be 4 over 3 r. So let's change the 7, 1 over 5 back to improper fraction, which is still going to be 36 over 5 divided by 4 over 3. So this is going to give us 36 over 5 times 3 over 4. So to calculate this, this will be 4 here is going to be 1. 4 in 36 is going to give us what? 9. So this will be 9 times 3 all over 5 times 1. So 9 times 3 will give us what? 27 and um, divided by 5. So our speed is going to be um, 27 divided by 5 is going to give us 5 whole number 2 over 5 kilometer per hour. Okay? So this is the, our final answer is going to be 5 2 over 5 kilometer per hour. But the question says, um, what was her average speed in meter per second? So that gives us another job to convert 5, 2 over 5 kilometer per hour to meter per second. So in order to solve this in meter per second, what do we do? Now, we can now change um, 5, 2 over 5 to um we have to change it probably to a decimal a decimal because we'll be multiplying by 1000 now you know that 2 over 5 already it's going to be once you want to change it to decimal it will be 5 into 2 so 5 divided by 2 it can go you put your zero and put your point and you add your zero so 5 into 20 will give you what 4 so 2 over 5 is equivalent to 0 0.4. So we have this as 5.4 kilometer per hour. So converting this to meter per second will be 5.4 times 1,000 divided by 1. Um, this will be 1 times 60 times 60. Okay? So this is going to be. 5,400 divided by 60 times 60. So the two zeros will cancel out the two zeros. Now 6 here is 1. 6 and 54 is going to give us um, that will be 9. Okay, so 3 here can go, that will be 2 and 3 here is going to be what? 3. So we have our final answer as 3 over 2 which is the same thing as um, one whole number, one over two meter per second, final answer. So, as easy as this is, you can now solve questions on um, speed, distance, and time.